As I'm sure a lot of you are aware by now that good old trusty Internet Explorer 11 is end of life, which was near and dear to a lot of our hearts. One engineer even went as far as paying for an Internet Explorer 11 headstone. Well, with the loss of Internet Explorer 11, I've been getting a lot of questions on how to deploy Microsoft Edge to macOS devices to ensure that their Windows and their Mac devices are all using the same browser. So we're gonna cover this in a few quick steps. I'm also gonna throw in a couple of little extras, for example, Intune filters and the settings catalog. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, we're gonna start our journey by creating a filter. So from the Microsoft Endpoint Manager console, you can navigate to devices and then filters. This can also be done from the tenant admin. Now we're at the filters page, we can click create and start by giving the filter a name. As we're looking for all macOS devices, you guessed it, I'm gonna come up with a creative name or macOS devices. And then under platform, we will select macOS. Once we're happy, we can then hit next and move on. From the rules section, we're not gonna spend much time here as I'll cover this deeper in another video. However, as you can expect, we can have a little bit of fun here creating filter rules to scope out the devices we wanna target with ultimately our assignments, whether that's deployments or configurations and so on and so forth. As we only care about macOS devices, I'm gonna create a simple rule. First up, under property, we can select manufacturer. Then we'll leave the operator as equals. And for the value, we'll just put in Apple. We can now see that our very simple rule is being shown in the rule syntax area, which you can modify if you're feeling a little bit adventurous. The last thing that I wanna point out here is that I think it's important to select preview devices. This way you can validate that the rule worked as you expected, and you're not gonna end up with the wrong devices that you're targeting for some form of assignment. Now, let's move on and click next. We will not use scope tags, so as you guessed it, we'll just click next. At this point, we can now review, make sure we're happy with the filter that we built and click create. Now that we've created our filter, let's go ahead and move on to getting the Microsoft Edge app created and assigned to our macOS devices. So to do this, we're gonna go navigate to apps and within apps, we'll select macOS. From here, we can click add, where under Microsoft Edge version 77 and later, you'll see Mac OS, which we need to select. With Edge selected, we can now go ahead and hit select. From the app information, we can now see all the key information about the application, from the name, from the description, so on and so forth. However, for this demo, we're just gonna move on and hit next. From app settings, we can choose the edge channel we wanna deploy. We have a few options to us. We can do stable, beta, or dev. As you would expect, stable is recommend for deploying broadly across your organization. You may wanna use the beta channel for just some select users if you're trying up and coming features that you have some of the training documentation written out. And then lastly, the dev channel, I don't expect you to use this as often, but here you can start testing out what's in the development channel and giving feedback back to Microsoft. So for this demo, we're just gonna keep it as stable and move on. Then again, in this demo, we're not gonna use scope tags, so we're gonna click next. Now from the assignments page, let's deploy Microsoft Edge to all of our enrolled macOS devices as required. Here, we'll also use the filter that we created earlier. So firstly, we can select add all devices and then choose under the filter mode, none. From here, we can choose the filter that we created earlier. So we can select include filter devices in assignment and select the all Mac OS devices. From here, we'll hit select and now we have our assignment scoped to our filter. We can hit next again. We're now on the final page. So here we can review everything that we've done, so all the options that we did to create this application. And once we're happy, we can just go ahead and hit create. So at this point, we could go look at a macOS device and ensure that Microsoft Edge is installed, but I wanna give you one more piece of guidance. 
So the Microsoft team have been hard at work at the settings catalog and adding lots of configurations for macOS to make management so much simpler. The great thing is the settings catalog includes the ability of controlling Microsoft Edge. So you don't have to do any long winded configurations using things like plist files anymore. So we're gonna dig in and take a look. So to configure Microsoft Edge, we need to navigate to devices and then we can make our way down to configuration profiles. And once we're there, we can hit click create profile. Firstly, we can select the platform as Mac OS and the profile type as settings catalog and then click create. Now from the basics, we'll just add a quick name. So I'm gonna use Mac OS Edge SC, for example and then just press next. We'll now need to press add settings and from the settings picker, we'll select and scroll down to Microsoft Edge All. With Microsoft Edge selected, we'll choose something that's nice and easy for us to validate. So we're gonna choose control where developer tools can be used. Once we have our selection made, we can just X out of this window and now back on the configuration settings page, we can configure the developer tools. So we're gonna change it to don't allow using developer tools and then click next. We can then skip scope tags and then from the assignments page under included groups, we can select add all devices. And then we're gonna choose edit filter and from filters, we can select include filtered devices in assignment. And again, we're gonna choose the all Mac OS devices and hit select. After getting the assignments set up, we can just go ahead, hit next again. And then as always, we're gonna just have one last final review of what we're creating before we go and hit create. At this point, we have everything we need for our managed macOS devices to get Microsoft Edge installed as required. And we'll also be blocking the developer tools. So let's go ahead and jump onto a Mac and take a look. We can now see that this device does not have Microsoft Edge installed, but as it's required, the install will happen once the device checks in. Now that Microsoft Edge has finished installing on this device, we're gonna launch Edge and just confirm our deployment was successful. Now that we're in Microsoft Edge, let's go check the next thing. As we try to block the developer tools, let's make sure that worked for us as well. So we're gonna choose the three dots on the top right. Then the first thing we can see is that it actually tells us that Microsoft Edge is being managed by an organization. This is a good sign. This means our settings have probably worked. We can then go to more tools and see that the developer tools is also grayed out. So we know our policy is working as expected. Of course, you could also check in Microsoft Endpoint Manager that Microsoft Edge has been correctly installed and that everything is on the device. You can also check that the configuration profile has been applied. So hopefully this video helps and we'll see you in the next one.